Hello everyone and welcome back to, or not welcome back, welcome to, uh, Yinglet. I think that's how you say the game's name. I got this game in a bundle and it just looks kind of interesting and weird in a way I, I like. I get almost pat upon vibes from this style. And this feels like something that came out on like the PSP. <laughs> Maybe a bit obscure. I got a bunch of these like bacteria fellas and then an asteroid coming to destroy them? Wait. <laughs> That looks like a map of, like, a modern city. Yinglet. <laughs> I have no clue what a yinglet is, if that's, like, a word for something, or- Niflos?! Oh, I haven't seen that name in a while. Those are the guys who made, um, Knit, I think. In Knit Stories, which is, like, one- that's, like, one of my favorite old-school indie games. <laughs> Indie fund. <laughs> All right, let's see what this is about. What is the difference between tricky and challenging? Assist options. Interesting. I'll leave everything default for now. All right. Whoa. I hold down the button, like do an echolocation thing. Botanist Cav. Oh! Oh, okay, I get what's going on here. Press anywhere for a checkpoint. I see. If I hit any button, you'll... If I hit my buttons, you'll warp me back. Seems like the game only uses an analog stick. Uh-oh. Probably, like, achievements for... And let's rest here. I That's a cool feature, actually. Like, if you want to, like, stop at every one you can... It's like, the checkpoints are mostly up to you, it seems. That's probably the end? No. Uh-oh. Ah, that's a mistake. The way it slows down, I kind of expect that to, like, launch me or something, but no. Ooh. Uh oh, I fell through the cracks. <laughs> oh god, I did it again. Oh, did I get it? Oh. Okay, you guys friends or foes? I didn't really seem to do anything when I touched you. Okay, I get- I, they're just fluff, okay. Ah! Oh my god.
How does this do anything? I bounce off it. Okay. And who are you? Should I have not touched you? Uh-oh. God, this is a really cool art style, by the way. Sound direction is all over the place, too. I This is one of those games that kind of just wants to be a cool art piece, I can tell. Like, it's I'm here for it, honestly. This is weird in a way I like. Oh, bye. Uh-oh. I can't make my way up there. That was interesting. Looks like I collected everything. Ca cast a roulette. Oh. Oh, you do get a dash. What the heck? it kills me? I don't know how, <clears throat> how this works. Why does it reset me every time I do this? Do I have to not dash into water? No. Huh? So if I do it with controller... Feels like there's something wrong with my controller here. Because when I do it with keyboard, or when I do it with mouse, it just seems to work a little better. Yeah, like you fall apart and oh, like you fall apart and then when you when you drop back in, you reform. That feels like how this is supposed to work. But when I do it with controller, you. You just disappear. Is there something wrong with my controller? Give me a second. Let's try turning that off. No, that didn't fix anything. Let me 
me try one last thing. Close the game. That didn't fix it. I guess I could play with mouse instead. It, it seems to work pretty well with mouse, honestly. There we go, let me unplug this. <clears throat> I don't know why this isn't working with controller. It's something on my end or not, but this, this seems natural enough to play with a mouse, despite the game not really recommending it. Okay. That's the level we started at. Now, where do I go to now? Oh, you can spam it. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, nope, that worked out. All right, rest here for a second. I'm Armaken. Oh, nope, that's fine. Uh oh, hold on. I think I know what the game wants me to do. There we go. That is really satisfying, like bouncing off of those. Oops. This is a game of a really high skill ceiling, I can already tell. Uh, probably- no, it was worth it, okay. I land something good. Oh! Okay. Oh, it's in my mouth now. Oh, is it letting me see invisible things? Ah, come on. Oh, 
Oh. So those you can't rest in, okay. Hey, I got hundred percent of it. Assistance Kara guard. You know, I'm gonna look up if Yinglet means anything. Because these sound a bit like a foreign language to me. Yinglet software. No, I'm just getting results for the game. A musical platformer, that's a nice way to word it. <laughs> oh, I think I know what the game wants me to do. I have to get them all in one, like, outing. That's not going to work. Almost. That works. That's a cool little mini challenge. Oh, Cr Cristania. <laughs> Begin your dash here. Okay. Oh, uh, we'll do it here. What the? I see how they work. Dashing toggles them. Interesting. Oh no. Ah! Just in time. Ah. 
Ah, okay, that was that was clever. Uh oh. Uh Ah, okay. I can't wait for the inevitable level that's just like a bunch of those. <laughs> what does this do? That's just decoration, okay. What happened to my mouse there? Okay, that's fine. Ah, come on. Ooh. Ah, come on. Oh, too far away. What do those do? Oh, those are decorations too. I see I can't set a checkpoint in those. Oops, okay, I'm glad I saved. <laughs> Thank you. 
that, isn't that the end of the level? No, no. I will say, I love all the weird abstract symbols, but like it's kind of hard at a glance to tell what is and isn't like what it is. <laughs> this might just be a me thing, but I don't know. Another issue I'm having is that, as far as mouse controls go, the game doesn't really lock your your mouse into the um. It doesn't really lock your mouse into the bounding box of the window, so I'll sometimes like accidentally click outside, you know. Case in point. So we're like collecting these little guys too, but they're not in every level? I'm really confused or curious what the story of this is. My kind of interpretation so far is like, that meteor at the start, maybe this is kind of like how... Maybe that like amoeba little bubble at the start was like prehistoric times to these um, bacteria people? And now this is, like, modern day to the bacteria people. Like, y you know how, like, you know, in real life, you have the dinosaurs and then you have the humans. Maybe in this one you have, like, the prehistoric algaes and then the, um, the modern day algaes. And they have their own little city and civilization and stuff. And we're just kind of going through them right now. I wish you could do this in the actual levels, because this is really satisfying. I am really liking this so far. <laughs> Let me see if I can look through these real quick, actually. Movement assist. Air control. I'm kind of happy with this so far. Wow, I'm enjoying this a lot. Uh, next time we'll, we'll continue on a little more. I will see you folks later. Thanks for watching.